Loyola, Loyola, we'll sing our proud refrain. Love is shown more in deeds than in words. Hence, if one has knowledge, honors or riches, he ought to share it with the one who does not possess it. Compassion is the most powerful force in the world that can change the lives of millions of people. Good morning, Reverend Father Jerome Kutena, our Provincial, Father K. M. Joseph, our Rector, Father Vinod Fernandez, our Principal, Father Gerald de Souza, our Administrator and Treasurer, Father C. G. Thomas, Principal Hindi Project School, Father James, Brother Benjamin, Ms. Jayanti Shishadri, Vice Principal Senior Section, Ms. Vinita Ekka, Vice Principal Junior Section, Teachers and my dear friends. Today, we have gathered here to celebrate the feast of Saint Ignatius of Loyola, the founder of the Society of Jesus. We begin this auspicious day by heartily welcoming each and everyone present here. Light is the symbol of brightness, prosperity, happiness and hope. Just as one candle lights another and can successfully light thousands of other candles, similarly, one heart illuminates another heart and can inevitably illuminate thousands of other hearts. I request Reverend Father Provincial, Father Rector, Father Principal, Father Gerald de Souza, Father C. G. Thomas, Father James, Brother Benjamin, Miss Jayanti Shishadri, 
and Ms. Vinita Ekka to light the lamp and inaugurate the function. Just one candle shining in a window pane Gives a light for all to see A shining flame Shining through the darkness It helps to show the way Light your candle for peace today Shine your light for peace Shine it all I request Reverend Father Provincial, Father Rector, and Father Principal to come up on the stage. I call upon Miss Minakshi Jha to felicitate our dear fathers. <laughs> and teacher. I request Father Gerald D'Souza to come up on the stage. I call upon Miss Reena Sinha to felicitate our dear father. father and teacher.
I now invite Miss Jayanti Shishadri and Miss Vinita Ekka to come up on the stage. I call upon Miss Jotsna Ajmani to felicitate our vice principals. It's 9.55 a.m. Thank you teachers. Where words fail, music speaks. The true beauty of music is that it connects people and produces a kind of pleasure which human nature cannot do without. The choir will now extend a warm welcome to all of us through a harmonious song. for your soulful rendition. I now invite Father K. M. Joseph, our rector, to invoke the blessings of the Almighty through an Ignatian prayer. We will join St. Ignatius and pray with him his prayer for generosity. Dear Lord, teach me to be generous 
teach me to serve you as you deserve, to give and not count the cost, to fight and not heed the wounds, to toil and not seek for rest, to labor and not to ask for reward, save that of knowing that I do your will. God bless you all and I have, have a wonderful feast day. Thank you, Father, for making us feel the presence of God amidst us. Dance is the joy of movement and the hidden language of the soul. Our little ones will now transfer us into the spiritual world through a graceful prayer dance. suggests action, character, or emotion without words, using only gesture, expression, and movement. Our students will present a mime that portrays the cannonball moment, the beginning of St. Ignatius' spiritual journey of conversion. Saint Ignatius of Loyola was also known as Inigo Lopez de Onas Loyola. He was born in 1491 
in Aspetia, Spain. He was the youngest of 13 children in his family. He loved gambling and above all, engaging in swords play. He became a soldier in the Spanish army and showed all signs of bravery and courage. A perfect soldier by nature. Very soon, he became the officer in charge in the army. found himself at the age of 30 as an officer defending the fortress of the town of Pamplona against the French. Spaniards were terribly outnumbered and the commander of the Spanish forces wanted to surrender. But Ignatius never gave up. Suddenly, a cannonball shot Ignatius, wounding his leg terribly and breaking the other. The French won and the war ended. Soon, the French soldiers came to check if anyone was alive so that they could captivate them. There, they saw that Ignatius was still alive, groaning in pain. Admiring his bravery and courage, the French soldiers carried him for further treatment. The soldiers took him to the castle of Loyola, where 
the treatment for his wounded leg began. Because of his long weeks of treatment, he was extremely irritated and would often get angry. Soon, he started getting bored and asked for some romance novels to pass his time. But there were none in the castle of Loyola. However, his beloved sister-in-law, Magdalena de Arauz, gave him the book on the life of Christ and a book on the lives of saints. Desperately, Ignatius began to read them. The more he read, the more he began to think about saints and Jesus. At the same time, he continued to have daydreams of glory, fame, and love. His mind was constantly involved with dreams and desires. He constantly dreamt about falling in great love. However, he noticed that after reading and thinking about saints and Christ, he was at peace and satisfied, and needless to say, he wanted to become a saint and live life like a saint. When Saint Ignatius was healed, he left the castle of Loyola. He decided he wanted to go to Jerusalem to live where our Lord had spent his life on earth. As his first step, he began his journey to Barcelona. He first proceeded to the Benedictine shrine of Our Lady of Montserrat and knelt all night in vigil before Our Lady's altar. He left his sword and knife at the altar, went out and gave away all his fine clothes to a poor man and dressed himself in rough clothes with sandals and a staff. By now, Saint Ignatius was 33 years old and determined to become a priest. However, he was ignorant of Latin, which was a necessary primary subject to get admission for university studies in those days. So, he started back to school, studying Latin grammar with young boys in a school in Barcelona. After two years, he moved away from the University of Alcala to Paris for studying Latin grammar, literature, philosophy, and theology. There, he began sharing a room with Francis Xavier and Peter Faber. He greatly influenced them and always talked to them about Jesus.
Francis Xavier was a hard nut to crack. He was into worldly success and honor. Once, Saint Ignatius confronted him and quoted him from the Bible. What good will it be for a man if he gains the whole world but forfeits his soul? Francis Xavier was moved by these words and started following Saint Ignatius. Saint Ignatius sincerely influenced many young men and eventually their numbers grew. They formed a community and decided to take vows of poverty, chastity and obedience to the Pope. Since they referred to themselves as the companions of Jesus, their order was called the Society of Jesus. This marked the beginning of the Jesuits. They believe in the four C's, which are as follows. Commitment is being dedicated, pledged, or bound to a specific course of action in our everyday life. Saint Ignatius of Loyola once said, falling in love with God takes serious commitment and dedication Commitment is important because it helps us stick to our goals during our good and bad times. Apart from helping us stick to our goals, it makes us more dependable, trustworthy and responsible. Compassion is an ignition value that simply put together means having sympathy and empathy. Saint Ignatius of Loyola was a good example of someone with compassion. He was extremely compassionate and religious to the point where he taught others how to be compassionate. Competence is the byproduct of the Ignatian value commitment. It has the ability to do things skillfully and efficiently. Due to the understanding, learning, and hard work of certain principles, are we competent enough to see the development of the less privileged and the weaker sections of the society? Conscience. It is very important that we form a clear and correct conscience. This means that we cultivate a sensitive judgment which is alert to the least offense against the divine will and at the same time protect ourselves against the wiles of the evil. If one has the delicate conscience, the evil one seeks to make it excessively sensitive in order to disturb and upset it more easily. We as Loyolians are called to be men and women for others and to obtain justice for all, especially the marginalized. Let us strive to live by the ignition values and make our lives fruitful.
students, let us all solemnize the feast of Saint Ignatius of Loyola through an exuberant celebration song and dance presented by our very own students. Thank you. 
Thank you, students. Ignatius Day is not only about celebration, but also an occasion to reflect on Jesuit values. Now, we present a small movie on the theme Cura Personalis. It is about the small ways in which we can show our care and concern for others.
I now invite Reverend Father Provincial to deliver a message on this auspicious day. I also request you, Reverend Father, to kindly remain on stage and declare the winners of the competition held on the occasion of the feast day of St. Ignatius of Loyola. Reverend Father, Rector Father K.M. Joseph, Father Principal, Father Vinod Fernandez, other fathers, Vice Principals, Ms. Janti and Ms. Vinita, respected the staff members, and my dear students, congratulations on your fabulous performance on this stage and the values that you have presented here through a beautiful movie. Wonderful. Congratulations. And as we gather today to celebrate the feast of St. Ignatius of Loyola, the founder of the Jesuits and the patron of this hallowed institution, let us take a moment to reflect on the profound impact of the impact this remarkable individual has had on the world and on our own lives. Ignatius Loyola left behind a legacy of spirituality, education, and service that continues to inspire and guide us all. His inspiration to cast aside the life in a royal castle and to take up a life of generous service for the greater glory of God has guided all Jesuit schools and colleges and universities in the last 475 years. The first Jesuit school was open in 1548 when Ignatius was himself was alive. You can imagine thousands of students passing through these institutions, through these hundreds of institutions in the last 475 years. In a world that often seems chaotic and uncertain, the life of St. Ignatius serves as a beacon of hope and reminder that one person's dedication can create ripples of positive change. His unwavering faith, intellectual curiosity, and commitment to serving others are the qualities that you as students can strive to emulate in your lives. The word impossible did not exist for Loyola. He was born in a Basque country, a land of fighters, hunters, explorers. As a boy, as you saw in the, in the drama, he got his training in the royal castle in the shadows of the royal court of Spain, and with a small number of soldiers, handful of men, he challenged the mighty army of the King of France, all to defend the honor of his country, Spain. Wounded in the battle, he underwent three major bone operations without anesthesia merely for the sake of a good look. Loyola was a man to conquer the world, to conquer the world outside of him. The leg injury, the lengthy and difficult recovery gave him a space which prepared him to conquer the world within him, the inner world. And during this recovery, his quest 
was to imitate all the greatest, all the great saints. And his quest was, if they could do it, why not I? He realized that without a formal education, his new life was futile. And therefore, at the age of 33, he sat in the school with the little children and learned Latin and pursued his studies until he got his master's in the best universities of that time. He spent 64 years in prison only to be told by eight judges that he was innocent. With a small group of companions, small group of nine companions, he founded the society that numbered more than 1,000 in his own lifetime when he died in 1556. He sent his Jesuit companions to the ends of the earth, to India, China, Japan, Africa, Brazil, far and wide. He wrote over 7,000 letters. Kings, queens, bishops, ministers, and the sick and the poor. He published two books that still are bestsellers. He founded a university that still flourishes. He dreamt great dreams for the service of God and humanity. While others counted on their achievements, what they had achieved in their, achieved in their lifetime, Ignatius always thought how much more remained to be achieved. Majis, all for the greater glory of God, and that was his motto. Dear teachers and students, as we celebrate the feast of our patron saint, we take inspiration from him that we may try to be less self-centered and become more other-centered as you actually depicted in the movie and take a keen interest in active service towards humanity while bringing out the best in yourself in the process. He may inspire us to find a divine spark in all things, as Ignatius himself found God in all things. I wish a happy feast of St. Ignatius Loyola, your patron saint, and that he may be your guiding light, and that he may bless and intercede for you all. St. Ignatius, lead us on. Thank you. I request Reverend Father Provincial to give away the prizes to the winners of the first category of the competition held on the occasion of Loyola Day. The team representatives from Standard 6 to 8 are requested to collect the prizes on behalf of their teams. First category, Standard 6, the first prize goes to Standard 6C, Team 1. Second, 6A, Team 2. Third, 6D, Team 1. Standard 7, the first prize goes to 7A, Team 1. Second, 7D, Team 1. Third, 7E, Team 1.
standard 8 the first prize goes to 8a team 1 second 8c team 1 third 8e team 1 now we move on to the second category standard 9 the first prize goes to Thrift Core 9D. Second, Aisha Thakur 9E. Third, Shambhavi Jaiswal 9A. Standard 10, the first prize goes to Shubhika 10B. Second, Humera 10B. Third, Anshuman Ghosh Roy 10B. Standard 11, the first prize goes to Hitesh Bhag 11E. Second, Shivendu Kumar 11E. Third, Ritika 11A. Standard 12, the first prize goes to Prahlad Nayar of 12A and Shweta of 12E. The second prize goes to Jasmeet of 12A, Harshita of 12B and Akshat of 12E. The third prize goes to Kritika of 12A, Farhan of 12B and Mohit of 12E. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Let us all make the core values of Ignatian spirituality the heart of our lives and resolve on this feast day of Saint Ignatius of Loyola to inculcate the qualities of authenticity, integrity, courage, service and justice. I now request Father Principal to deliver the vote of thanks. Respected Father Provincial, 
Father Jerry, Jerry Kutina, Father Rector KM Joseph, Administrator Father Jerry De Souza, Vice Principals Vinita Ma'am and Jayanti Ma'am, dear teachers and my dear students, a warm good morning to you all. Good morning. Thank you. Kindly be seated. I know you all look tired. You are ready to go out. Kindly be seated and we are going to end soon. So St. Ignatius of Loyola is our patron. So is it our feast or not? Yes, it's all of our feast. Not only fathers, Jesuit fathers here. So it's our feast. So happy feast to you all. So we have learnt a lot today about St. Ignatius of Loyola. Father Provincial spoke about his life and he mentioned something very profound that God made difference in the life of St. Ignatius who used his gifts and talents to make difference in the life of others. And hence we have this Loyola School, Jamshedpur and there are so many institutions around the world making difference in the lives of many. So here we are in this auditorium proud to be Loyolians. Aren't we proud? Yes. So we are proud to be Loyolians. That means we show our pride not only wearing the uniform but also through our lives, through, our, through the values that we live in in the school or as well as wherever we are. Hence it is said, once a Loyolian is always a Loyolian. I believe you remember that all the time. So today here I am standing before you to thank you for the prayers and wishes and this beautiful program that you presented through dances, the songs, beautiful songs and the mime and this very uh, meaningful and appropriate video in which the values and the characteristics of Jesuit education have been depicted to all of us. And I believe we have learned something from this program and we believe that we will carry this, uh, these values and characteristics wherever we go. So I thank God, I thank St. Ignatius and I thank particularly our Father Provincial who who is here, was here in the morning program as well as now. Thank you, Father Provincial, on behalf of the Jesuit community and all Loyola community, I thank you. Let's give a big hand to Father Provincial. There are so many people behind this program to have it such a beautiful way, present it in such a wonderful manner, so I thank Vinita ma'am, Jayanti ma'am, the teachers and students and everyone, our sub-staff, support staff, our photographers, our Javed is the one who provided the slides and certainly every, each and every one of you who made this day beautiful, memorable. Thank God and thank you all. May God bless you. Jai Loyola. Let us say loudly, Jai Loyola. Thank you. Thank you, Father. Please rise for the school anthem. Thank you, 